Several people have asked me about how the high voltage power supply on my voltage multiplier works, so um, I'm making a video just to explain that. This is for my 14 stage Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier. You know, I'm just, here's just a quick look at it. If you want to see more about this, I have a couple of other videos explaining it, but this is just about the high voltage power supply. Uh, I had some challenges making this video because this top is acrylic and my overhead lights cause some horrible glare as you can see here. So I'll be trying to move the camera around to avoid that glare as much as I can. The input to the power supply is 30 volts DC, 8 amps. The output is 10.5 kilovolts AC RMS at 28 kilohertz. So I'll just start at the beginning. Um, you know, the input goes in here on these two banana plugs. There's a voltmeter here to measure the input voltage. And the first place it goes is to this little thing here. And this is called a ideal diode. It's actually a pr protection device. If somebody accidentally puts the wrong polarity in, without this device it could blow up uh, a lot of the circuitry. So this will prevent that from happening. So from there it goes to the voltmeter here. Get my pointer. Works better. And then uh, it then goes over to here and this is a an RF switch. This is so I can turn this uh, voltage multiplier on and off remotely with a key fob using uh, radio frequencies. That's to keep me from getting shocked by this when it turns on. So then it goes into this device and this is called a zero voltage switch or ZVS driver. Uh, there's various things, names that it goes by. And basically in combination with an inductor, which I'll talk about in a minute here, it causes uh, high power oscillations that will drive these flyback transformers. I've had to add some additional capacitance, which you can see here, which is hooked to the other the capacitors on the main board. That's because I needed to um, lower the frequency of operation to get the right impedance matching for the tower. And you can see here I've got two AC flyback transformers, one, two. They're connected, the outputs are connected in parallel, and the inputs are connected in parallel. So these coils, which are hand wrapped around here, I think they're 12 turns each, they're in parallel with the output of this ZVS driver. And since these coils are, these inductors are in parallel, it causes both of these flyback transformers to oscillate at the, exactly the same frequency. So the output phases are in phase, and that's why you can connect them in parallel. So then the output of those flyback transformers goes into the base, which is 28 kilohertz uh, AC, goes into the base of the, the multiplier stack. You know, here's one electrode. And the other electrode is over here on the other side, right here. And there are some ground, these are for grounding. One of these goes to the external uh, resistive load, the other one goes to a ground. But, so, that's it. Uh, I hope this gives some people a better idea of what this power supply, high voltage power supply looks like. And I'm sorry for the glare, but I tried different methods to get around it, and this is the best I could do. So, goodbye.